So I think it's important to note that though I like my space a mess, it's not a disgusting mess. Hey guys, so this is going to be a random video, but so I was just watching a video by Psych2Go, which I really like their stuff on. I was considering psychology as a major in college anyways. Um, my name is Felicia Fulham. I'm an artist and graphic designer and traveler, cultural studier and artist. I think I said artist once and foster mama. That's the other thing. Um, but I was just thinking about this video. It was talking about how people like it clean and, and decluttering is a great thing for your mind and, and freedom, like uh, helping you to sleep and relaxation and all those things. And, and though some of those things are true in certain areas of my life, I think that in general, I love my studio to be a mess. I love working in a messy space. I love it. Um, and I do try to clean it, but usually I, I'm trying to clean it for other people, for you guys, for um, studio tours, for those types of things, for, for my husband. But he doesn't really care because I have my own space, and that's why I have my own space. But I was saying, like, even in high school, I would fall asleep wherever I was working. If it was on a pile of bean bags in a corner with like black lights on and doing homework, or if it was on my bed surrounded by books I was reading, or if it was on the floor in the living room. I was a nerd. I took notes of the movie Waking Life. Like I literally sat there and took notes of all the names and the philosophies and summarized them for fun. But I would fall asleep doing that type of thing. Like like I I like a mess. I like sleeping where I'm working. I know these are all the things you're not supposed to do. Um, and that's okay, maybe. I don't know if that's okay. I think I'm okay. Um, but yeah, like, I, I guess I'll do a studio tour. I'll take some video clips of my studio right now. Like, it's a huge mess. And I, I'll clean it when I have people over. I'll clean it. Um, I'll clean it when I do an open studio. I won't clean it for art in the park. But I know where everything is. Like, all of my piles are organized. All of my mess is organized. And, I, and also, too, like, there are areas of life where I have things organized. Like, I have lists. I have calendars. And I have date by date what pro tasks I'm going to do during my free time. It's organized with what I do in the morning with the kids, what I do during their nap, what I do when one of them is at visit, what I do when two of them are at visit with their bio mom. I have it set up so that I know what I do after they go to bed. I know, like, this, what I'm doing when when I'm doing, like, um, like, I have areas of my life that I'm organized. Also, like, I get compliments all the time on my junk drawer and also my towel drawer in the kitchen. Um, those drawers are very organized. Like, like, Pinterest moms will comment on how organized they are because there are areas of life where things are organized and structured because they need to function. Like, the kids' schedules. They know exactly what comes next every morning. Every morning, after they get their clothes on, as soon as their clothes are on, they know that it's time to leave the room for food. And as soon as they're done with their food, they know that they're going to get to play or they're going to go straight upstairs. But they know I'm going to clean the kitchen and then they go upstairs to brush their teeth. And then they know after they brush their teeth, they go to the playroom or they go downstairs. Like, they know exactly what's going on. And 90% of the time, you don't even have to tell them. Like, if it's a normal day, they know what's happening. And if it's the alternative, they, they're used to that alternative. There's, they know. Like, so there's things that are organized. But my space and my studio and isn't... And that's just, like, I think I need that. I clean my house for you. Not you, but people in general. I clean my house for you. I clean things for other people, for my husband, for the kids. I do that for everyone else. But my space gets to be a mess. And that's why we have an extra room for my stuff. So, anyways, I was just thinking about that. And and maybe I, every time I clean it, I enjoy it for a few days. But it doesn't stay clean. I, I clear to neutral. I do that even in the mess. Like, I clear back to neutral every day. So I have these routines within this mess, within this extra, within this extra clutter. Um, but I, I, I like my space of clutter. I do. I like having that freedom. Um, and maybe it's just like a rebel. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. But I know that people say that, like, like minimalism is good. And, and there are areas of life where I declutter everything. I think also I'm frugal and I save things. And I use things super frugally. Actually, I, I'll make a video on some of the ways that I use like paints and that type of thing. If you want it, let me know and I'll make you guys a video of how I am frugal and how I save money and how I, and I don't really care about the money so much. I care about, I don't like wasting. I don't like the, I don't like wasting. I don't, I don't like, I don't like doing it. <laughs> um, I don't like being wasteful. Um, so anyways, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this. 
I'm in a, I'm in a mood. Um, having foster toddlers, oh, good gravy. They put you in a mood. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, this is just a vlog. I figured, I think I'll do Veda. So, Veda, not sure what day this is. I don't even know the day of the week. Um, it is, uh, oh, good gravy. It's only Monday. Okay. See you guys later. I'm Felicia Follum. Um, if you like this video, subscribe. If you don't like this video, um, I don't do too many like this except for in Veda and NaNoWriMo. So, peace. See you guys. Hey guys, I'm Felicia Follum. I'm an artist and traveler. Uh, I'm also currently a stay-at-home foster mama. Um, also a language learner. Kind of an eclectic free spirit. I love lots of things. Um, and I realized that if my channel was more one thing, I'd probably have more subscribers, but I don't really care. I love you guys. Those of you who do follow me, um, you have been amazing. I primarily post art and travel and culture and languages and those types of things. So if you like any of those, let me know below. I'm doing Mate Mondays, which are Q&As on Mondays. Um, not every Monday. Right now we have two toddlers, and that's how I feel. So I don't get many videos out these days. But, um, anyways, this video is random. Welcome to Veda.